Hi everyone, this is The B. On today's episode of S5000 Tech Talk, we're having a look at suspension. Suspension on open wheel race cars is generally divided into, into three main components. You've got your inboard suspension, you've got your mid suspension, and then your outboard. What you'll see when you uh, look into the, to the inner parts of the car, you'll see your suspension mounted in here so you'll have a spring and a damper system, and then, and then a roll bar to, to control the movement of the chassis relative to the wheels in there. It's one of the key areas where an engineer will be tuning the car for the driver to, to give them better feel for the car, to improve ride and handling, uh, so that the driver can go out there and maximise their performance. One thing on these open wheel cars that you, you won't see on your general road car is pushrod suspension. So this is where a pushrod actually moves a, a crank on the chassis and that's where your loads are transferred into the, uh, into the shock absorber. And one of the key reasons for doing that is aerodynamics. On these open wheel race cars, anything you put in the oncoming airflow is really detrimental to how the car will operate. They're very sensitive to airflow. We try to get as much out of the way of the as free stream airflow as possible, and that's where the mid suspension section comes in. So you can see here, it's all made of, a, of an aero tube material. This is all chromoly steel with chromoly inserts in there. It's all welded together. So it's got to take the the loads of the wheel getting slammed by the bumps and the aerodynamic loading of the wings and the body of the car. It's got to transfer that through to the shock absorber and it's got to give the driver a good feel it can't flex. So they've got to be very stiff for what they do and then we make sure that the airflow that's leaving it as undisturbed as possible. When we get to the outboard component of the suspension, this is the stuff you don't see but it's really critical. Uh, hidden behind the wheel is this here. So this is one of the uprights off the S5000. These are all locally produced. The spindle's coming from Hollinger and the uprights produced by us. The uprights are a, a billet item. As you can see, there's, there's quite a lot of, of air between the, uh, the outer frame of it and where the bearings are supported in there. This blow through design makes it really effective at cooling down the brakes on the car and, and helps keep some weight out of the upright. The, the other critical thing for the uprights is where you can adjust the performance of the car with things like camber and tow and caster angle of the car to help give the driver the, the feel they're looking for or the, uh, the stability on the track for the ride and handling of the car. So when you go to the track and you see these cars out there, everything you're watching go up and down from the chassis outwards. It's been made and designed here. It's really showcasing what Australians can do. 